Welcome to Rugby Union, an extreme beginner's guide. Today we're going to be looking at Rugby Union. After watching this video, you should have a basic enough understanding of this sport to follow a game in person or on TV. But please note, this is just a simple introduction, not an exhaustive review of all the rules. Rugby Union is a ball sport. This is what it looks like. Two teams play against each other with 15 players. Each player has a specific role on the field. When a rugby team has the ball, their objective is to attack the other team's goal area to gain points. Without the ball, the team's objective is to defend their goal area and try to get the ball back. The team with the ball will try to move forward towards the opposition goal area. To do this, a rugby player has three options. Running with the ball. This is easy enough. Have the ball in hand, then run. Players may also pass the ball to a teammate. There are no restrictions on how you throw the ball, but it is nearly always thrown in a two-handed heave. Hand passing the ball forward is not allowed and results in a foul. Passing the ball may happen at any time and is a perfect way to try to escape an incoming tackle. A player may kick the ball at any time. Any teammate behind the kicker is considered onside. They may run forward and try to recover the kick. This tactic has the chance of moving the ball very quickly towards the goal. A player in front of the kicker is considered offside. They must move behind the kicker to become onside. An offside player may not engage in play. When a rugby team does not have the ball, they are playing to defend their goal area. To help their cause, they have several ways to halt the advance of their opposition. Tackle the ball carrier. The team without the ball may tackle an opposing player who has it. Tackling is highly regulated in rugby. A rugby player may not tackle above the shoulders, and they must wrap their opponent in their arms as pushing or charging with the shoulders is illegal. Tripping with legs and feet is illegal as well, but an ankle tap with hands is allowed. It is also illegal to tackle a player that has jumped to catch a ball until the player has landed. When a player with the ball is brought to the ground, they must immediately release the ball. Getting possession of the ball. When the team without the ball is able to secure possession of it, they may commence attacking their opponent's goal area. Contesting for possession. There are times during the game when the team without the ball can contest for possession. The most common is during the ruck. When a player is tackled, they must release the ball. If a player from each team has engaged with each other to fight for possession over the ball, a ruck has formed. After a ruck has formed, players may not use their hands on the ball, only their feet. Once the ball is free of the ruck, the ball may be picked up and normal play continues. When a player holds up the ball carrier, and a teammate of the carrier comes to support them, a mall has formed. The team that has the ball must keep the mall moving forward. If they are held in place for 5 seconds, they must play the ball, or the official calls the ball dead and the opposition gets possession. To restart play in some situations, a scrum is formed. The eight forwards of each team bind together and then interlock with each other.
The team granted possession by the match official will then feed the ball into the scrum. The players then try to use their feet to hook the ball back towards their teammates while also attempting to push the scrum forward. Use of hands is only allowed once the ball has exited the scrum. In rugby, possession of the ball is never guaranteed. A live ball can be grabbed and claimed by anyone in the field of play. Some common ways possession changes hands include Pass interception A player passes the ball but an opponent catches it. Stripping the ball Straight up stealing the ball out of the player's hands. The jackal The rules of rugby stipulate that a tackled player must release the ball. If the tackler is able to get over the tackled player and steal the ball before a ruck is formed, they may gain possession. However, once a ruck has formed, grabbing at the ball with the hands is a foul. Counter ruck and winning a scrum. As the team without the ball, it is possible to gain the upper hand in a ruck or scrum and gain possession of the ball. When the ball leaves the field of play through the side, a line-out is awarded to the other team. Players from each team will line up and a player from the team awarded the line-out will throw it in. This throw must be straight. Each team will attempt to catch the ball. They will frequently lift each other up to do so. In rugby union, there are three methods of scoring, the three-point drop goal, the three-point penalty goal, and the five or seven-point try. At any time, a player may drop the ball to the ground and kick it as it begins to bounce. If the ball goes over the crossbar and between the uprights, three points are scored. When a team infringes on certain rules of the game, a penalty kick may be attempted by the non-infringing team. Unlike the drop goal, a penalty kick is taken from a kicking tee. Over the crossbar and between the uprights, just like the drop goal, will gain three points. When a player presses the ball to the ground in the goal area, this scores a try and is initially worth five points. From there, the team will attempt to convert the try to seven points. A conversion kick is taken from a kicking tee and must be kicked straight from where the ball was touched down. The distance away from the try line is at the kicker's discretion. Due to this rule, there can be some extreme angles for the conversion. A successful conversion kick adds two points, converting the try to seven points. When the game begins or after a score, the game resumes with a kickoff. A kickoff is performed by a drop kick. In rugby union, the team that was scored against must kick. The ball must be kicked on or behind the halfway line. The kicker's teammates must be behind them. The opposition players must be on or behind the 10-meter line. And the kick must reach or go past the 10-meter line. Any player, as long as they were properly in position at the time of the kick, may try to recover the kickoff. Rugby union is played over 80 minutes, split into two 40-minute halves. The clock typically runs non-stop, but there are exceptions for injured players. The halves don't end right away when the clock hits 40 or 80 minutes. Play continues until the ball is dead. This can lead to some extremely exciting endings where a team behind by a little can lead a comeback by keeping the ball alive and slowly marching down the field. A recent example is this Japanese upset over South Africa nearly four minutes past the normal 80 minutes. And now, a quick summary. Two teams of 15 fight over an oval-shaped ball. Through running, passing, and kicking, they try to ground the ball into their opponent's goal area. Failing that, they can try kicking the ball through the goalposts. At the same time, they defend their own goal area by tackling the ball carrier and trying to gain possession of the ball.
Hopefully, this short and simple introduction will give you enough knowledge to follow any game. But it doesn't end here. There is much more to know about the game of Rugby Union. So begin watching games, find some helpful fans, and keep an eye out for other videos I'll post in the future. Seven Codes of Football creates educational and informative videos on various codes of football from around the world. We use motion media clips from various leagues around the world to help expand the fan base of these codes to areas of the world where they may not be well known. We use these videos under the terms found in Title 17 of the U.S. Code, Section 107, for fair use, specifically for teaching and scholarship. Seven Codes of Football has no desire to receive compensation directly due to the use of others' hard work. Aside from donation links or other crowdfunding links, the content of these videos will not be monetized. Additionally, copyright attribution is provided with links, if applicable, to the original source in the description area below.